conversations with him on top of that. Okay. So in an effort for us to get to the bottom of this, you know, we've asked for the documentation, but we have to get to the who. Who is behind this? Who is behind this within CBSA? Who is Who else might possibly be behind this within the government? So which government officials did you talk to in pursuit of the CBSA contract, just for the pilot itself? So we were informed by uh, the CBSA that they intended to take this enterprise throughout the government. And in support of that, Juicy Strategies took us to meetings with various de government departments and officials. So Such I as? believe you're asking for names. Please. There was um, Philippe Johnston at Transport Canada. There was Mark Briard and Paul Gerard that were at Treasury Board of Canada. There was an individual, I believe his name was Daniel Godreau, at... Um, at the CRA at the time, and then there are some other individuals that I'm not recalling them right now, but I can certainly provide them to you after. Sure, that would be that would be very helpful. Um, now you mentioned that uh, this this piece that you were working on was to be used as a pilot and perhaps implemented across other departments uh, as a as a technical solution for C-56. Um, were any other departments indicated to you where it might potentially be used if it went well at CBSA? So it was supposed to be used by the entire government for Bill C-65, and that's why the CBSA wanted to be the ones. They said that they were the pathfinders. They okay. wanted to get the credit for it. So everybody we spoke with was for the same implementation of that same solution that was uh, being path found or being uh, identified as a pathfinder by the CBSA. Okay, so we have names um, such as uh, Cameron McDonald, obviously uh, Mr. Duane was here the other day, uh, the then President Mr. Ozowski, uh, the now President uh, Ms. Um, O'Gorman. Were there any other officials at CBSA that you communicated with? Well, Antonio Utano was the one that I sent the report to, and we were told by Mr. First that he does a lot of business with Mr. Utano. There was also the individual I named today, which was Diane Daly, that she stepped in after we submitted the report. Uh, and there's a um, sorry. Uh, there's a, a list of individuals within the CBSA who were engaged with the Butler project one way or another. So Mr. McDonald specifically gave us some names. For example, he mentioned that uh, Pierre Lessard has the values and ethics piece of this task authorization. The individual who's now in charge of the investigation uh, of, of of this uh, file within the CBSA. So there's a long list of individuals who were involved in this pilot. Uh, was there any ever uh, any mention of a minister or communication with a minister as to a ministerial decision for for this pilot project? Uh, for this pilot project specifically, no. But for the enterprise licenses that were the bigger licenses for the government of Canada, yes. Okay. Um, who? Please. It was Deputy Minister Christian Freeland. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, were you consistently communicating with Mr. Firth? Um, was was he your only? Uh, non-governmental contact relative to the relative to these contracts or to this contract that is correct yes okay um, you mentioned that mr. Uh, Firth brought in um, mr. McDonald as well as uh, mr. Briard uh, was there was there any other party uh, uh, who was involved in these conversations in in the middle person conversation well for the pilot no it was just mr. Firth but for the bigger enterprise uh, software yes it was an individual by the name of Vaughn Brennan who mr. Firth uh, stated that he rubs shoulder with uh, every ADM in town and and he was brought in as a consultant. Okay, as a consultant. Um, that is our time, I'm afraid. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.